Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Focuteer uh, Entertainment. Today we'll be learning about what is a ping. So um, I'm talking about the ping. All right. So this is a, a basic uh, a program that allows a user to verify that a particular IP address exists and can accept request. So ping is used uh, diagnostically to ensure that the host computer the user is trying to reach is actually operating. So ping works by sending an internet control message protocol, which is known as a ICMP request to a specified interface on the network. Right. Um, so what is the definition of a, of a ping? It's a, a packet internet grouper. Right. So um, let's see. Uh, let's ping. Uh, www.google.com so currently i mean if you look at we first uh, started using the ping command followed by a domain name so the request is sent over the network okay network hub and the router and it used the destination the next we received the request in a similar fashion over the network and to us so the remote domain or the remote computer responded to the ping with a, a pong response so the time between two transmissions is calculated to generate an average response or a latency time all right and the next thing what we're going to do is let's see a ping All right, so there are different options we can use with a ping. So it's like minus T ping google.com minus T. So if you if you uh, look at here, it's just sending ping continuously. All right, unless until you press Control Z. But however, if you ping, it will only send four ping requests. Now go back. Let's see what other options we have. So we have tried minus T, and we have minus A. Minus A is nothing but to resolve address to host name. Let's see. If I'm using ping www.google.com minus a see it resolving the IP address and if I ping 74.125.68.105 minus a okay and the next thing is minus n count so a number of eco requests to send Okay, now, so what I'll do is ping minus minus five. It's minus n count. So it will send. 10 counts instead of 4 it sends so you can mention specify number of how many pings uh, we can send all right and the next thing we have is the uh, buffer size currently you can see it's sending the buffer size with 32 bytes okay let's increase it to 64 bytes so ping minus l 64 www.google.com so it's sending with 64 bytes see the difference we have 32 here and here it is 64 so in similar fashion you can test for any website or for any remote computer whether the uh, the remote pc is up and running okay and uh, so that's it for the uh, the ping command and um, let, let's catch up with um, 
couple of other sessions. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.